Hi there gang, my name is Thomas White and this is the first time I'm trying to film looking into the camera so bear with me here. What I wanted to show you today is that it is possible to create swing on an analog sequencer. I've been trying to figure out how to do this for a long time and only recently on an airplane ride did it come to my mind how to do it. What you're going to need is a basic analog sequencer. I have my MFOS rotary sequencer, hopefully you can see that there. I have no idea if you can, bear with me. You're going to need a VCLFO, in my case I have the MOTM320 VCLFO. You're going to need a pulse divider, you're going to need uh, a bunch of cables, you're going to need an envelope generator. Let me explain a little bit how this is going to work. What you need is a clock source. In this case, I'm sending the MOTM320 clock source square wave to the sequencer as, as my clock source. But what I want to do is every other beat, I want to delay that beat and swing it just a little bit. So what I did is, I've got the clock source from the 320 patched directly into the sequencer there. I've got the clock source also branched off through an MOTM 120 pulse divider. And if you can see this down here on the bottom, the only thing I have turned up is sub number one. Everything else is down. The output of the pulse divider runs into an envelope generator here. And the envelope generator then runs to the FM input on 320 LFO. So essentially what I'm trying to do here is every other pulse from the clock goes through the octave divider, creates every other pulse, that then goes and triggers an envelope generator, which then the decay and sustain and, and, and release cause a delay on every other clock pulse. So let's bring this in and see if you can hear a little bit about how it sounds. Okay, here's a pretty straight, pretty straight sequence. And what I'll do is as I turn up the FM here on the 320, you can hear it changes the rate of the sequence, but you start to get that swing in there. So I can turn my rate of the LFO up now. There we go, swing time. You can imagine you turn a little uh, portamento on. All of a sudden we get the swing sound I've been trying to get for a long time. So for those of you out there new to modular synthesis, just keep at this thing, because eventually you'll start coming up with ideas, even though they've never uh, popped into your mind before. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my new video. Hope to speak to you again soon.